Hello guys, welcome back to another video where today we are going over Tropical Storm Debbie, which is now a Tropical Depression. Alright, so I go here. This area? Wait. This is Brentwood. We are under. We are. We will be under a high surf advisory. Um. Until Friday, Saturday. All these alerts until Saturday. This I'm not sure about. Um, where do I want to go? Yes, here. So, the risks for a severe thunderstorm capable of producing tornadoes is likely to be in upstate New York and somewhere in the Jersey area. Connecticut and Western Long Island, we are under a marginal risk, like a, let's say a 2% chance of a tornado, because I don't want everyone freaking out. Um, the thunderstorm wind risk, New Jersey, you are in that yellow, so is upstate New York as far as we know it. Um, Western Long Island, yes, exactly. Um, let's take it here to the lightning risk, of course. Everything's going to be under a situation tomorrow. The excessive rainfall, we, um, upstate New York and the new, and New Jersey, um, you have an L you have a slight risk of flash flooding. The excessive heat risk isn't really that bad because somewhere in Connecticut here and New Jersey to parts of New York City and others. Let's go to the National Hurricane Center is where we can see um, a disturbance, um, a tropical wave located over the eastern tropical Atlantic is producing widespread disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Any development of the wave should be slow to occur during the next few days while it moves westward across the central tropical Atlantic. Conditions are expected to become more conductive for development early next week, and a tropical depression could form while it approaches the Lesser Antilles. The system is then forecast to move generally west northwestward and could approach the Greater Antilles by the middle part of next week. Uh, that's a 40% chance right there over the next seven days. Now, as we take a look at Debbie's cone path, um, it's going straight from North Carolina, Virginia, Pennsylvania, upstate New York, Vermont, Maine, and parts of Canada. Uh, yes, we, this is possible, so... Virginia, um, Pennsylvania, upstate New York, even New Hampshire and other parts of the Northeast could experience some flash flooding, which is why there's a flood watch from extending from South Carolina all the way up to around Rochester, New York. Um... The potential of this is, uh, um, is good, all right, <laughs> as we see a moderate risk of flash flooding from parts of, of 
Virginia, New Jersey, to Pennsylvania, and all the way up to upstate New York, where Vermont and New Hampshire could be in the storm, I mean, the part of um, the flash flooding. But today, the high risk is extending from North Carolina all the way up to um, West Virgi Virginia. Not West Virginia. Don't get that messed up. Um, as we're seeing here, tornado warnings are already are in effect for from Debbie a lot a big area of a flash flood warning is from right here all the way to Rowan Roanoke Roanoke I don't understand this anymore, but this is from today all the way until tomorrow. We will keep you guys updated for any information about the areas that are in, that have, um, I want to take a quick update now that Vermont is under a flood watch <laughs> um see if emergencies could be in effect for the hours um we want to take a quick moment um right now that um Debbie has caused high surf advisories and wind advisories, including gale watches and warnings with rip current statements in effect for where I live. But most of the areas, um, the National Weather Service. Um, yeah, um, take a moment to read all of this. I'm dead. So the thing that scares me the most right here is the storm rainfall total. Um, just look at this here, from one to two inches of rain through Saturday in the morning, but locally three inches possible north and west of New York City. And we are west, so mom, so it's for west of north, New, um, New York City, look in the camera. You, we've got to prepare. We do do it. Yeah. We. Mm -hmm. oui. Anyway, um. A lot of things will change. Look at the gust winds for Long Island. Yes, Long Island is supposed to have the most of it. Um, tomorrow. We also want to see this. Um, take a moment to look over this severe thunderstorm threat from Friday in the afternoon to Friday at night. Yep. Uh, 
so that is all for today. Tomorrow we will keep you in. Tomorrow we will keep you informed on Debbie and the impacts that we have had. Um, like in the next twenty four hours or so, we are expected to have the um impact on Debbie. Okay. Anyway, um. Window check. Everything's looking good so far. Definitely stuff coming from over here. Winds are starting to blow now. Um, yeah, power outages are available, so I, so I, so I may not be able to contact you tomorrow. Yeah. Like, make a new video about Debbie tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll see you all to, uh, if I can't, if I do, I'll have, I'll take another talk about Debbie with you tomorrow. So, no.